What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Just Dale. I'm here with the Wrong Agenda Weekly Recap for Sunday, March 3rd. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about today is Devin the Dream Haney versus Ryan Garcia. The fight is set, all done for April 20th. They recently just had their press conference in L.A. Let's talk about it. This, this Let's talk about it. There's a lot to unpack there. Uh, I just want to say uh, Haney is definitely in my top three fighters right now. Boxing is definitely in my top three. Where he falls on that, it's up and down, you know, but definitely he's top three. As far as pressers go, press conferences, he, I think he's up there number one. He's definitely not. And, and for press conferences, let me say Devin and Bill Haney, that duo, number one in press conferences. Let's let's just talk about a little bit even here, man. OK, so let's just start with, you know, Bill Haney has a way of of like like killing you with kindness. It's like he kills you. He says these things that are, that are so nice. That is insulting. And it was like, it's, he's a, he's, he's a master when it comes to that. And I, that's why I love watching his pressers. And I mean, uh, the last one with, uh, pro gray and, uh, that guy <laughs> murdered, murdered that guy. But, um, this one was a little, little different, but it, it's still like Bill Haney. He compliments you. He gives you all your praise, all your respect is due, but he still, he finds a way to, to still, you know, establish dominance there. And, um, it's just, it's great. I watched the presses all day. Um, I know him and B. Hop had his little thing going on and, but whatever. It was great. Let's just get down to Haney and Garcia. Garcia, he's an entertainer fellow. We all know he's social media. He's doing all of this stuff. And, um, it shows through on the press conferences. You know, he's, he has his comedy going. He's comical and it's a, it's, it's a good thing. And I see, you know, but, uh, the thing that really stood out to me and I'm to talk about it. And I don't know. Everybody has their opinion on how they feel about it. But when Haney brings up Garcia using drugs after they had a little thing about him being high at a previous interview, or whatever, y'all can look into it if y'all want. But I'm just speaking on this specific conference. Haney brought up. Uh, his drug use and said, are you on drugs now or are you using coke, whatever, whatever, you know, he's, he's, you doing the whole thing. And, uh, Garcia responds with basically like he only drinks and, and smokes weed, which is legal. He's allowed to do that. They're both legal. And Haney's just like, are you, is that the image you want to put forward to like kids and stuff like that? And, and Garcia goes with the whole, and his mother was yelling from the audience. It's, it's, a, it's interesting. His mother's yelling from the audience. You know, it's, it's a good thing. His father, we're going to get into his father. But, but yeah, back to that statement. So and he's just, you know, like, like grilling him on, you know, being a role model and, and set an example for the kids and stuff that's watching it. And Garcia is like, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm me and I'm human and my imperfections or whatever. And, and this is what I do. And, and, and it's cool and I get it. But, um, just to get, I don't really want to get into all this here, but I really liked Haney's message there. I really liked his message because whether you like it or not, kids do look up to some of these guys. I mean, it it is what it is. They may not have asked for it or whatever the case may be, but it's just, it is as reality. It's the truth. And, um, I I get the, the era that we're in is like everyone living in their truth and owning their flaws and things like that. Yeah. I get it. Cool. Let's own up to your stuff. Things that you do that are bad. Yeah. Say, Hey, I do this. You know, nobody's perfect. I get it. And, and that's the message that I believe Ryan was trying to get across. Like, you know, he has his vices. He could have been worse, you know, things like that. And the message that Haney, at least from what I understand was trying to get at was like, but you know, you set an example, be a role model, regardless, you know, don't, don't, promote that is that what you really want to promote right now is that what you want to put out is that the message and i understand the nobody's perfect thing but it's like 
I really enjoyed Haney's take on that because it's like, why not strive for perfection? Like, why do why do we just accept us being imperfect as a period, like the end of all? Like, I'm not perfect. Whatever we do, that's wrong or whatever. It's da da da. But I'm not perfect, so we try to justify or, or make it okay. I I don't agree with that personally. Like, I'm not perfect, obviously. And there's things that I do that it might be great or not great or whatever or not so great. And I own up to it and say, hey, well, this is me. I'm up to it, but I still have to have to uh, after it, I have to say, well, this is not right. And I don't think others should do that. Be better than me. Like wh- whatever happened to those days of, hey, don't do this. This isn't right. Don't do this. This isn't right. Just don't do this. And everyone just striving for perfection, because how are we ever going to achieve it if no one strives for it? If I'm putting forth a message to the next generation is I'm not perfect but it's okay. Be you. If you're not perfect. No, I want to put forth the message. Be perfect. I'm not perfect. Be better than me. Because if that message gets through and they do just in one facet, become better than me and their next generation becomes better than them just in one area, eventually we might achieve perfection. Is that not the path to it? But okaying things that we don't consider perfection. And that goes to say, if you think it's something wrong. Like the way Garcia presented it as if his drinking and smoking wasn't okay or a good thing or a great thing. So if you truly feel that way, yeah, you should be like, Hey, you're right. I was bugging out. Don't be like me. Don't get high. Don't drink. Whatever it is. If you feel it's wrong, don't, don't try to take the road of I'm not perfect. So it's wrong, but it's okay. You know? That's what I think the real accountability and how we strive for perfection is, you know, and uh, for however many children I may have in life, I would want them to be better than me. I feel like my eating is not great. I eat bad. They might see me eat bad, but I would say, you know what? Eat better. Try this. And hopefully it sticks and then their kids will try better and eat better and eat better. And generation after generation will have the cleanest eating family ever. And that goes on for everything. And that's just my point. So anyway, I just, you know, that message came through. I really like that from Haney. And that's why I continue to, to like his pressures. But yeah, Garcia, I don't think he's a bad guy in any way. And he's right. You know, people have their things and that's fine for him. Um, let's get into the, the hair thing. Okay. So Bill Haney comments on Garcia's father's toupee. I don't know if he really has a toupee. Don't really care if he really has a toupee. It's humorous, whatever. He comments on his toupee and he rebuttals with, look at you with your nappy hair. You're like Don King. You got nappy hair. Don't be mad at it. Something to those lines of his hair being nappy. He said his hair was nappy. And Haney responded with like, well, is that a racist thing? You know? And then he mentions it again later on. He talks about his toupee again. And he says, oh, you got nappy hair. And then he's like, brings up a thing. And he's like, hey, is that because he's African American? And just because, you know, we have different hair than you, it's coarser, doesn't mean that it's nappy, you know that. No, 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 no. But that's, but I don't respect the man with the toupee over there, your husband, because he's bringing up the bullshit. Okay. Now, how you going to keep it real? You're a nappy now, head, at the end of the, yeah. Nappy head. I sound like some racist yeah. shit. Yeah. At the end of the day, uh, listen, hey, that's us, what he's looking us, like. Us, really us, got a toupee on. Looking us, like. us, I'm us, sorry. Us, really African, got a toupee on. Listen, nappy head. Listen, us African American Americans, we have we have more coarse coarse hair than 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 you Latinos. But that don't make our hair nappy. But that does not make our hair nappy. So so don't get it confused. I don't I don't care about all facts or whatever you got to say. At the end of the day, we're African Americans and we have a different course of hair. That does not mean that our hair is nappy. Do I think that uh Garcia's uh camp was being racist? Personally, I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know him like that. I don't know. But personally, I don't feel it was that. I think he was kind of making an observation. But do I understand how it comes off being a black man? Yes, I understand how it comes off of someone saying, hey, look at your nappy hair. It does come off a certain way, but I don't think particularly he was mean it in that way. But it was just an interesting back and forth. So if y'all didn't see that, you can check it out. It was an interesting back and forth. And um, 
yeah, I, I like what Heaney had to say there too. But you know, whatever. I don't particularly think it's whatever. You know, they're going back and forth. He's talking about his toupee. He's talking about his hair. He says it's nappy. I don't. I, whatever. You know, it, it, that's it's just like a, you know. But anyway, I'm looking forward to the fight. Uh, of course, at this point, uh, you know, I'm going to take Heaney in to win the fight. Also, think it's going to be a great fight. Garcia is a great fighter. Um, I think. You know, Haney definitely shouldn't take him lightly because he can come around and, you know, if he sleeps on him, he'll he'll he'll, he'll sleep him. But I think uh, judging from Haney's last fight, I feel like he is on top of his game. So if he brings that Haney to this fight, he's got it. He's got it. Um, okay, next thing. Uh, shout out to the man Duke. Dennis streamer Duke Dennis turned thirty this week, and he celebrated by buying himself. What else? Lamborghini Euros. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Boy, no count. The seats massage. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah. That's that's basically that on that man. Um. Duke, it's a wonderful streamer. I like watching his videos. Seems like a pretty good guy. I'm happy for him. Celebrate his birthday. Happy birthday, Duke Dennis, man. Um. Enjoy. I already spent a lot of time talking about this, so we're just going to wrap this one up here with uh, TV news. Uh, the Shy is coming back March 10th. Um, I got a lot of catching up to do with The Shy. I kind of fell off of it for a while. I wasn't enjoying it as much as I once was, but I have high hopes that it will get better, so I'll jump back into that. BMF has been renewed for a season four ahead of season three premiering. So there's a lot of faith in that show. I will definitely be watching that. Actually, the episode just came out. I'm going to check that out the first episode, but Hey, they already season four. I don't know how far they're going to take this. I was having a conversation with uh, someone the other day and they were basically saying, well, how much story do they have to tell? Well, I'm like, well, you know, they have to go through the whole rapping thing. And they, I want to know if they're going to go through the whole record label stuff of views around in the BMF era. Or you know about Big Meech or what was going on at those times with the rappers and everything else they were doing. I would love to see them go into all of that. So I'm hoping they get as many seasons as they need to tell as much story as they got to tell. And when they get up to present time, I, I don't know, wait it out and see. But I like what's going on. And um, I enjoy the show still. I still enjoy the show, so I'll be watching. And um, yeah, that's it. I don't really have much for this week. The article's been a little slow. Uh, one of our writers has been out in Mexico. He's back now. My God. Uh, I actually have to head out to Atlanta. Very soon. So this will be wrapping it up. Hopefully I'll get this out on time. And it's been Jess Dale. This is your weekly Wrong Agenda recap. Make sure y'all go check out the website, thewrongagenda.com to see all of these stories in detail with videos and everything. Uh, please subscribe. I'm trying to get more subscribers here on the YouTube. I'm trying to do my thing. You can follow me on Instagram at Jess underscore Dale underscore for the number four real uh got a lot of stuff going on there yeah man just tap in with me uh i got a lot of stuff going um i'm gonna keep saying um the yeah we'll talk about the other stuff a little later but some amazing things in the works so yeah stick out with me it's been your boy just dale wrong agenda i'm out